In Laboratory 2, we'll be exploring time versus distance for a rolling marble. In this first part, I'll be showing you how to set this up. I'll be setting up markers at 100 centimeters apart. Here I've lined up a ruler at the 30 centimeter mark with a line on the floor. I cannot use the floor tiles because the floor tiles are 12 inches long. And in physical science, we do use the metric system. So I'll use three lengths of 30 and then another 10 to get my distance of 100 centimeters, which will be one meter, and then I'll repeat that. So I've got my ruler on the floor. 30 is, that's going to mark the end of my run. I'm starting from the end and heading back towards the beginning. And I've moved the ruler down to the original zero. Note the zero is off the end. Be careful. Don't measure to the end of the ruler measure to that zero. So each time I put the 30 where the zero was. I do this three times and I'll have 90 centimeters. And then the, the fourth time I go 10 more centimeters from 30 down to 20 and that will give me my first one meter mark which is marked by that plumeria flower there. Uh, and I repeat that again three 30 centimeter lengths and 10 centimeters until I've got all of my markers laid down one meter apart. You can see I've got four markers plus at the very end the uh, osimum plant. Now I roll the marble and I start, I'm starting the timer at the yellow ruler. Zero is at the yellow ruler. We'll look at that run one more time in slower motion. I roll the marble, releasing the marble, start my timer, hit lap, 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 stop. So I'm starting at the yellow ruler and ending at the end of the run. I'm using the timer on my smartphone, and so here you can see the times rolling off in real time as I do them. It's very fast. It's the numbers on the far right that I need, the 4.88, 3.2, 2.0, and 1.38 seconds. That's the elapsed time. That's what I'm going to use in Desmos, not this splits on the left side. So I'll go into Desmos and I'll, I'm going to change the X variable to be the time T and a, a 1. And I'm going to change the Y variable to be a D, D1. One of the things that you don't see is the time started at the yellow ruler at 0, 0. That's not on my stopwatch, but I started at 0, 0. Now I'm entering in the numbers that were on the far left side. You'll know you're entering the right numbers because they always go up. 1.38, 2.0, 3.2. On the right side, the distance, those are just my meters. 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters. So that's my table that I need for this graph. You may want to go back and see this again. But there are my times on the left side. They're the x-axis and the distance is on the y-axis. It's in the second column. Label your axes on your graph. I'm going to put in time is in seconds on the x-axis. And I'll type that in. I'm using the wrench on the, uh, you can see that there. I've clicked on the wrench to enter this. The distance, and I'll type that in. And the distance was in meters. So I've gotten my time from my smartphone stopwatch capability. If your phone weren't to have a stopwatch, there are apps you could download if you had to. But all of the phones I've owned have a stopwatch built into their timing system somewhere. Now I'm going to run the analysis. D1, the distance, is approximately equal to V1, the velocity, times T1. I'm going to type in that T1 uh, as I did there. And I can see that the velocity, V1, is 0.863389, about 0.86 meters per second. I also see that the points are very close to a line. This does look like a linear relationship. And here, I'm just copying the velocity. You can do that. I'm double tapping on the velocity. And if I can get it double tapped and stretched, I can copy all of that and use that in the report, which I'll be preparing. I'll do screen captures to get the table out, the graph, and the analysis. Every phone has a different way in which it does screen capture. You'll just have to Google how your phone does that to get those out of your Desmos.
I've done the screen capture of the graph. You'll have to learn how your phone does a screen capture. Google it. I've labeled the axes with time and distance. I've screen captured my table. I'll later insert that into my report. T1 is a time, D1 is a distance. And here I've screen captured the Desmos analysis that I did. And I've got a velocity of 0 0.86 meters per second. So I set up my lab report using the same headers as I used in the first report. There's an introduction and an equipment list. The equipment list, I'm going to tell the reader what equipment I used. In the procedure, tell the reader what you did, not what I did. You might have done it differently. Tell the reader. Insert your table of data. Ensure you include the caption, T1, D1 being seconds and distance. Insert your graph. Make sure those axes are labeled. You can see my analysis there. And then wrap up with a conclusion that tells the reader what you found out. Was time and distance linearly related for you? You do the experiment. You determine what you find out. Report the speed, the velocity. If you get a linear relationship, then it will be the slope of that line. I got a slope of 0.86. 0.86 meters per second or 86.3 centimeters per second. Tell the reader what you found out. Tell them if you found out what you expected to find out and whether the time and distance were related for you by the velocity. Write that up and then you submit the report uh, just as outlined above here.